food today is not just about pleasure or feeling full, is the stuff on TV shows, health warnings and obesity fears. Should we worry about what we eat? This battle of ideas debate had foodies on the edge of their seats. Here's a glimpse of what took place. Amanda, I'm going to start with you. You're the obvious person as a nutritionist. Are we what we eat? Yes, physically we are. I was reading recently in a report, and I hate statistics because I'm hopeless at statistics, but I was reading that we have um, 70,000 preventable deaths in the UK through um, if people were to uh, eat according to the nutrition guidelines that we have, healthy eating, we could prevent 70,000 deaths. So at the extreme level, yes, I think we are what we eat in terms of surviving. So we do seem to be living in an era where politicians and health campaigners uh, want to go beyond education and increasingly they're trying to coerce us, they're trying to force us to live a so-called perfect lifestyle. And I have to say, Amanda earlier mentioned that um, a figure of 70,000 preventable deaths from, I don't know, from obesity or whatever. I mean, I'm sure that figure is simply plucked from thin air by health campaigners. There's no way they can possibly come up with a figure like that. Recently, we've seen restrictions on uh, television advertising. Uh, Sugar-coated cereals are no longer allowed to be advertised before a certain time. Now, you can bet your bottom <coughs> dollar that in the next two or three years there'll be further restrictions, possibly actual prohibition on any sort of advertising for certain types of food. Now, do politicians and campaigners think that we're all completely stupid, that we don't uh, have the ability to think for ourselves and choose how we wish to, to live our lives? Um, I mean, at the moment they're talking about, for example, even putting uh, calories on, on menus when you go to a restaurant. That's the kind of legislation which really gets up people's noses, and particularly for coming from the, the industry side of things. If you're doing daily, daily specials, you know, I, wa I want my chefs to be in the kitchen cooking daily specials to make sure that when you come in and order it, you have a fantastic meal and you think it's value for money. I don't want them sitting in front of a calculator and a computer working out, you know, to the nth degree, how many calories it's going to take. Chinese people, our greeting word every day is, have you eaten? Ni chi fan la ma? That's Mandarin. Yeah, so uh, everybody asks, asks this first rather than how is the weather today? Oh, very bad today, it's raining. And it. But we ask, have you eaten? Very nice. You know the face? So you know, because all written uh, on their face, the smells of aubergine and the tomato with eggs. Because my food is all home cooking, not number 76 in the Chinese takeaway. <laughs> you know, chicken with uh, chow mein. And it, it, that's not my food. Yeah, I was intrigued by Amanda's introduction. She made the point that 70,000 people are going to die a premature, no doubt, painful and disfiguring and deeply distressing death. <laughs> but that's not providing information, that's propaganda. Amanda herself says, I've heard this, read this somewhere. I don't know, silly me, I don't know anything about statistics. It's not required to produce any justification for this extraordinary allegation. 70,000 people are dying because of their diet. It's rubbish. It doesn't stand looking at it. You cannot produce evidence to substantiate it, as indeed you can't for most of the claims that are made in it. For example, the government says everybody should eat five a day fruit and veg. When this came out a few years ago, I wrote to the government to ask, where is the evidence for this? I'm still waiting for the answer. I'm a doctor. In our surgery, we have in the last year celebrated three patients reaching the age of 100. In 1910, and I looked this up, there were 100 people in this country who were over 100. There are now 7,000 every year. And we've got a crisis of <coughs> premature death from people's diet. I mean, this is just... It's mad. You know, it's out of all proportion to reality. Just, just before we're I get to speak... We're longer and healthy lives than ever before, and even though we're supposed to be eating ourselves to death, it's rubbish. Oh, I'm going to so, you know, that, that figure was from the Cabinet Office um, food analysis. It was in, oh, sorry, it was in uh, the beginning of this year, so you're very welcome to go and look at it and look at the sources and argue where they came from. Well, that's all we have time for. I'm Ruji Yasmin, and you've been watching World Bites. We look forward to reading your responses online. Just hit Fear's Bite back.